Emma, where are you? Not online, that's for sure. Hey, birthday girl. How's it going? Had a good day? Okay. What's up? Nothing. Still haven't heard from Ali and Emma? Isn't that obvious? Maybe they've just forgotten. They're my best friends. Oh, I've forgotten my friends' birthdays before. But you're a boy. Boys do things like that and nobody seems to worry, but girls don't just forget their best friend's birthday. I'm sure they didn't mean it. Yeah. Probably got other things on their minds. Relax. It's all organized. I'm taking care of everything. Now, are you sure she doesn't smell a rat? I haven't logged onto the chat room all day. She'll be going mental thinking we've forgotten her birthday. But don't you think it's a bit mean? Maybe we should call her. No way, we've got to stick to the plan. A surprise party's not a surprise party if there's no surprise. I can't argue with that. So, how long before you pick up the cake? I've just got to finish watering the plants at my dad's friend's house. You should see this place. It's high-tech central. There's remote control everything. Yeah, some other time, Emma. We've got a surprise to spring. <sighs> Sorry. All right. Well, you give me a call when you pick up the cake. Then I'm off to Singapore to pick up the birthday girl. Thank you. Whoa, careful. Oh, Nicholas. Hey, Emma. Where are you going in such a rush? I'm um, just going nowhere. <laughs> nice cake. What's it for? Oh. Jackie? Don't tell me. It's her birthday. Yeah. I didn't know. What can I say? We all have them. See you around. Wait, I should get her something. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. No, really. Where's the party going to be? The party? And I want to shine in your world like the sun. They've been going on like this for hours. You can't imagine. This party's a disaster. All of the passion okay? I have here in mm. my heart. Boring. be a party. Great. But it's girls only. Oh. It's at her parents' place and they're strict, like super duper strict. I'm sure she'd love to see you, but you know what parents are like. That's right, I understand. I knew you would. I'll just drop off her present and wish her happy birthday. What? What's the address? The address? Where her parents live. Um, I don't have it on me. No problem. Text me later. I've got to buy something for Jackie. <laughs> lucky I ran into you, huh? Yeah, lucky. Just why can't I just keep my mouth shut? I'll worry about him later. Ali, I've got the cake. You go, girl. Ah! Ali? Hurry, there's no time to lose. What? But it's an emergency. Get dressed. What kind of emergency? I know time to lose emergency. But Emma's dad is doing a last minute photo shoot. None of the models have turned up. What? So we need some girls to be extras. Hurry, get dressed. OK, OK, I'm coming. What's the photo shoot for, anyway? Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! No way! <laughs> See, I told you. You thought we'd forgotten. And all this did time... Did you really think we would forget our best friend's birthday? Thanks! <laughs> I must admit, you did have me worried. <gasps> wow! I hope you like it. <sighs> like it? I love it! Oh, well, we figured <laughs> that the chat room software is going to stop working soon. That's right, I'd forgotten. So, this will be the last time we get to use it to celebrate a birthday together. <laughs> So we thought we'd get you something special, something to remind you of us. It's beautiful. You're the best friends ever. <laughs> Even if you pretended to forget your birthday. That was pushing your luck. All right, let's get this party started. We've got favourite food, favourite music, and we get to spend the whole day together, just the three of us. Um, make that four. What? I, I told Nicholas it was your birthday and he wants to get a present for you. He does? That's so sweet. Yes, and he wants to bring it to your party. What's the matter with that? I said it was at your place. What? In Singapore? No, here. Emma! What did you say that for? I said it was a girl's only party and that you had really strict parents. And I really tried to put him off, but I don't think it worked. Obviously. He said he wants to drop off the present and say happy birthday. Oh, no. What are we going to do? So we need a house for Jackie, right? Well, I think I know where we can find one. 
This is so not a good idea. Sorry, Em. You got us into this. Now your parents' friends can get us out. Where are the owners anyway? They're in Greece for two weeks, and I'm supposed to collect the mail and water the gun. See? Perfect place for a party. No. The perfect place to pretend to have a party. This is just till Nicholas leaves. Then we pack up and go back to my place without breaking anything. Don't worry. Come on, we're here. Wow! Double wow. Not bad, is it? Not bad. It's amazing. Come on, wait till we see the inside. with a burglar alarm. You've only got 20 seconds to disarm it. Otherwise, local police are alerted. But it's all off now, right? Sort of. Apparently it's been acting up, so don't stand here with the front door open. Or it might reset itself. If that light turns red and starts blinking, close the door and call me. Too easy. All right, come on, I'll show you around. This is the living room here, the kitchen's back there, and the salon's through those doors. Oh, check out the super remote control. Touch screen. Ali. <laughs> That's awesome. So how do you turn on the telly? <laughs> right, that's the other thing. This house is a smart house. Everything is controlled wirelessly through these remote controls. That's so cool. So how do you turn on the telly? I haven't quite figured that out yet. <laughs> Come on, Nicholas will be here soon. You have to get this place decorated for my non-birthday party. I don't know about you guys, but I could do with a piece of cake. I'll oh, eat later. Just a little piece. Oh, that'll be Nicholas, right on time. Do I look okay? You look awesome. Well, don't just stand there, go answer the door. Right. And remember, we have to keep this visit short and sweet. Hi. 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 Happy birthday. Thanks. Don't just stand there like that. Come on in. So, this is where you live? That's what they say. Any chance of a guided tour? Um, yeah, sure, why don't I? This way. <laughs> she has no idea where anything is. She's smart, she'll improvise. How long have you been here? How long? Uh, not long, not long at all. And how many rooms? Lots. Too many to count. Um, and here's a room here. Well, it's great. You're really lucky, eh? Yeah? I've been so far. Do you mind if I use the bathroom? The bathroom? Yeah, I just need to wash my hands. Of course. The bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> well, the bathroom is a very nice bathroom. I'm sure it is. Uh, and where is it? Uh, it's just, um... Not here, that's for sure. It's down the hall and on the left. Isn't that right, Jackie? Right. Thanks. I can't do this. Just stay calm and don't panic. Why shouldn't I panic? This is a terrible idea. I should've just called him and told him not to come. Relax, Jackie. You're doing fine. I don't feel fine. He's coming. So, where's your room? My room? Oh, see one room, see in the mall, now the garden. That's nice, isn't that right, Jackie? Right, Emma, the garden's even better than the house. Really? Absolutely. <sighs> Come on, let's take a walk. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. Oi, what are you doing? Just giving them a little privacy. Emma, then we can't see what they're doing. Oh, that's right. Silly me. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. You really didn't have to get me anything. Yes, I did. I hope you like it. 
tickets to the Neumeyer Ballet. <laughs> Thank you. This is amazing. Two tickets. Of course, it's your present. You can take anyone you like. Hmm. Wonder who I could take. I don't suppose you're free, are you? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. What are they saying? I can't tell. It's times like this I wish I could lip read. <laughs> Look at the two of them. Isn't it romantic? And you were worried he'd ruin the party if he came. <laughs> he will if they just keep staring into each other's eyes for the next two hours. Don't worry. We'll give them a few more minutes alone, give him a piece of cake and send him on his way. Expecting anyone else? What do you think? Who is it? I don't know. Let me have a look. What should we do? Just ignore it. Pretend like no one's home. What if it's important? Okay, but you answer it. It's a good excuse to be here. Hurry up, girl. Did you expect me to stand outside all day? Uh, what? No, sorry. Wait a minute. Who are you? Me? Yes. Emma? Emma? Ah, you must be the new housekeeper. Must I be? And you are? Mrs. Schultz, of course. My daughter owns this house. Tea. One sugar. Lemon. Sure. Tea with lemon. Coming right up. What's going on? The old lady? She is the grandmother of the house. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Make her a cup of tea. And then try to get rid of her before she sees the decorations. And Nicholas. You stay here and make the cup of tea. Lemon. One sugar. And I'll keep an eye on Mrs. Schultz. Make sure she doesn't go snooping around. It's a great gun. Thanks. There's something I've been meaning to say. Really? It's... it's just... that I really like you. I... really like you too. And it's good, because now I know where you live. Maybe I can see you more often. How about a piece of cake? Uh, sure. And then maybe you should get going before my parents come home. Come on. They're away in Greece, remember? They won't be back for two weeks. Who won't? Your family. Speak up, girl. Stop your mumbling. They're on holiday. Why are you shouting? I'm not deaf. Well, maybe you should call them when you get home to your house. What's that? What's what? It's that cake. I smell cake. And where's my tea? It's coming. So is Christmas. Lemon, one sugar, and cake. I want cake with my tea. Cake, right. Don't just stand there. Move your legs, girl. Oh, yes, Mrs. Schultz. Well, the old lady's got a nose like an elephant. She smelled the birthday cake, and now she wants a slice of that, too. Oh, I don't believe this. I'll get the cake while you finish making the tea. Right. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Emma? Um, we've got another birthday surprise for you. What surprise? A surprise guest. It's the grandmother of the house. Yeah, she wants cake, and what she wants, she gets. There you are. Huh? Now, where's my cup of... Wait a minute. You are not Emma? No. Uh, you see, I'm... Emma's friend. <laughs> yeah. I've warned the staff before about bringing their friends to work. You have? I'll be having a stern word with that young lady. Now, where's my cup of tea? Uh, right here. Lemon, one sugar. Ah, perfect. Just the way I like it. Well, don't stand there like a statue. I'm not serving myself. Come. Yeah, just smell. Perfect. You make a much better housekeeper than Emma. I recommend her immediate termination, and we'll hire you instead. What? No need to thank me. Look at the time. My favorite game show is about to start. Well? Well, what? Turn on the television. Oh, right, the television. <laughs> Thank you.
eight. Why do you turn on the light? Sorry, <laughs> turn on the television. Much better than some silly old game show any day. Ah, yes. Come on. Be a dear. Give my shoulders a good massage, please. And then you can get me a nice piece of cake. Where is this music coming from? Um, it's just an electronic malfunction. I'll go have a look. as your own granddaughter? Uh, uh. Ah, yes. Hello, darling. How nice to see you. Um, nice to see you too, Fran. But Jackie was just leaving. Weren't you, Jackie? Yes, I was. Oh, then have a nice day, dear. You too. Bye. Bye. Hey, what's this flashing red light here? Oh, no. It's very loud, isn't it? Can't you shut it off? I don't know the code. But you live here. Uh, uh, but they've changed it, and she has no head for numbers. It's all right. I'm here. Oh, and here's my cake. Yep, and it's all yours. Thank you, dear. Oh, that's better. The police! Oh, they responded to the burglar alarm. You should go. But nobody's done anything wrong. Please, Nicholas. It's complicated. Okay, you say so. Happy birthday. Right, so what's going on here? Sorry, it's just a faulty burglar alarm. Everything's fine. There's no robbery. Okay, that's good. Hello, Mr. Schmidt. How are you today? Oh, hello, Officer Kiel. Fine, thank you. Mrs. Schmidt, don't you mean Mrs. Schultz? 
No, her name is Mrs. Schmidt. She's an old friend of ours, aren't you, Mrs. S? Yes, indeed, Officer Strasser. <laughs> What's going on? Mrs. S likes to walk into people's homes and pretend to be part of the family. She does? Oh, yes, all the time. We're called to pick her up at least once a week. Come on, Mrs. S, let's take you home. Yeah, here's your cake. That's all right, you keep it. Share it with your friends. Thank you, dear. So nice. <laughs> Come on, it's the chocolate. <laughs> I was close. Oh, at least we're in the clear. Not quite. Nicholas still thinks I live here. We can't run the risk he might just turn up one day looking for me. What are you going to do about it? The only thing I can do. Nicholas! Wait! Jackie! There's something I have to tell you. What? The house. It's not a good idea to come visit me there. Why not? Right now, my parents are in Singapore. I do a lot of traveling. So? So, I'm not sure where I'm going to be from one day to the next. What are you saying? I'm saying it's best if I call you, OK? You don't want to see me anymore? No, Nicholas, I like you. I really do. But. My life is more complicated than you could imagine right now. Thanks for my birthday present. Don't say goodbye. I've got to go. I will call you, okay? Yeah. Okay. understand? Of course they'll understand. He likes you. People always understand if they like you. But I felt so mean. I wish I could just tell him the truth. And say what? Oh, hey, Nicholas, guess what? We have a special chat room that lets us travel from one country to another. <laughs> OK, so he'd think I was crazy, but at least it would be the truth. Mm, sometimes it's better not to know. Well, one thing's for sure. You've given me a birthday to remember. <laughs> what else would you expect from your two best friends ever? And you know, after all that, I didn't even get a slice of my own birthday cake. I'll fix that. Off to the bakery. <laughs> cake number three, coming right up. Just had a shower, is that all right? Uh, I'm gonna come back later. So, why is Dan here? His aunt was in an accident last night and his parents needed to go straight away. One more, Al. Hmm? Better get used to it. You might be sitting five places for a while. What do you mean, a while? Morning, Dan. Hope you brought your appetite. Yeah, thanks. How long's a while, Dad? Oh, well, could be a couple of weeks. It's bad enough with my nosy brother. The last thing I need is another set of eyes lurking around watching my every move. He's watching my every move. And it's going to make keeping the chat room a secret even harder. I'll have to explain where I am 24-7. Watching her 24-7. Thanks for your sympathy. Come on, Ali. Maybe the real hassle is that having some of you like around the house means you have to be doing your best behaviour all the time. No snoring. No peeking your nose. No walking to the bathroom in your underwear. That's not it at all. Dan's cute. What's wrong about having a cute boy around? Just 
What's me on edge? Well, don't get too edgy. Dan's promised to take me on a trail ride this weekend for an assignment. And I don't want to get an F because you can't take the pressure. Who is it? It's me. Hey. Hey. I've been knocking for ages. So why didn't you answer? Uh, it's, um, uh, none of your business. Come on. What have you been doing? I've got some stuff to do. I need to concentrate on it, OK? Six, seven, eight. Nine times clockwise and two back the other way. Do you have a problem with how I make my tea? Nope, just think it's funny, that's all. You want a hand? No, thanks. It's no big deal. I said no. Thanks, OK? OK. <sighs> Dinner's on in 10. Thanks. I noticed you refused your speed drive. Can't leave it like that too long. Yeah, it's fine. Because it'll be cruising along OK, and then one day that's it. It'll screw your whole system. Yeah, really. It's cool. I can fix it. Dan, I don't need your help, OK? And I don't need to be hovering around, being helpful all the time. And under no circumstance whatsoever should you touch my USB, or my computer, or anything in my room. Got it? Got it. So, isn't this nice? I mean, Dan here? Mm. He's a much better roommate than Al used to be. Oh. Always at dinner, dinner time. time. Hints in writing. Uh, no, I'm not sure we can. Uh, look, just hold on a moment. Can we do a trail ride for tomorrow? Mm -mm. We have to go into town, and Ali's going to be tied up with the farrier. I just thought with Dan here that maybe the two of them could manage. Well, I'm happy to help. I guess so. Excellent. I'm sure you'll make the perfect team. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Uh, just perfect. I can be grateful I'm not your teeth. I thought we were through all this weirdness about me working around here. I thought we were going to be able to be friends, but since we can't seem to get along, it's just agree to stay out of each other's way. Fine. Good. Excellent. Brilliant. Jackie, where are you when I need you? Oh, Emma, you'll still be at school. Looking for you. He's not in there either. Hi. Isn't there something you need to watch on telly? I think there's something right here that I'd rather watch instead. Goodbye, Damon. So, I just wanted to check that you're still taking Emma out on her wildflower assignment? Do you think I'd cancel something I promised your friends just to get up your nose? Um, 
No, I was just wondering how it was all going to fit, seeing as we're looking after the farm. Well, I'll take the girls out in the morning while you take the tour group. I'll be back by lunchtime and we'll both shuttle the horses to the ferrier. Unless you've got a better idea. Sounds great. Careful, Ali. That almost sounded like a compliment. It's completely unfair that I have to go with you. Ali and Dan have got enough on their hands without having to keep an eye on you. You sure you'll manage? We'll be fine. Good morning. So they reckon. So they reckon what? Yeah, it's good. Um, they're a bit not exactly cool. Perfect, because I'm not exactly feeling cool. You remember we're going to borrow your computer? so that Jackie can check the plans we find against the ones in the database. Of course I remembered. I may never think of anything else. So, you'll be back by 12? I'll be back by 12. All right, guys, you all ready? So, Dan, how's it working? You staying with the Hansons? Ali seemed a bit funny this morning. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know. I just try to stay out of her way. What are you looking at? Native bee nest. You want to see? Sure. No, thanks. They build their nest in hollow branches. The entrance is at the top there. You have to look really hard to see them, though, because they're small and black. They're stingless. Unlike every other creature in this country. It's not that bad. Crocodiles, snakes, spiders, sharks, blue ringed octopus, box jellyfish. Platypus. Platypus? They have spurs on their hind legs. They say if they spike you, the pain is excruciating. How did you know that? Something all Aussies know. The platypus is so cute. Well, don't let cute fool you. Come on, we're almost at Wildflower Central. Dan's mood's improved. <laughs> Seems to be getting better with every step we take away from Ali. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? You find enough plants and animals to get yourself a double A+. Bush orchids up there, native irises down by the water, five or six mosses on the rocks. And if you're lucky, you might even stumble on a waratah. A wara what? What does that look like? Oh, you'll know when you see it. Ali's in so much trouble. I asked her weeks ago if she knew a good place for my assignments. Yeah, well, she doesn't know about it. You haven't brought her here? I was going to bring her up last week, but then it rained and... I don't know. I'll take the horses for a drink. amazing chick. I mean, really, how much can those horses drink? Hmm? Seriously, Dan's been gone for ages. Dan? Dan? Dan, if this is your idea for joke, it isn't funny. Where is it? Don't worry. It's long gone now. I need a doctor. A doctor? Right. I'll go get the horses. No. I can't move or the venom will spread faster. So, 
We need to... Call an ambulance, I'll bring the anti-venom here. Well, soon would be good. Right. Okay, I'll go get the mobile and you say it down. Red-bellied black. Tell them it was a red-bellied black snake. Red-bellied black, red-bellied black, red-bellied black, red-bellied black. Red-bellied black, red-bellied snack. Bed smellied whack. They're going to be here so soon, Dan. Fred. What rhymes with smellied? Not much, thank goodness. Jellied. Dan! Oh, Dan! Who's that? They need to know where we are! Dan, can you hear me? The ambulance needs to know where we are. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to call Ali, quickly. Now, don't worry about unsaddling the horses. I'll fix them up later. If you follow me, I can show you where you can wash up. trouble. Dan got bitten by a snake and we don't know where we are. When you get this, call me straight back, okay? <sighs> Maybe we have to try and get him on one of the horses. No way! Do not move him. You heard what he said. Any movement and the venom will spread even faster. So we just stay here and wait for him to slowly die. I'll try Ali again? Even if you get her, it'll take forever to get an ambulance out here. Don't they have helicopters or something? There's just no time. We have to take him to Singapore. Singapore? Hey, Garth. Hi, Ali. You're on your own today? Ah, uh, no. Dan will be here any minute. I hope so, because we've got a big afternoon ahead of us. Come on, Dan. Hi, up. It's completely insane. It won't work. It's the quickest and best option. OK, so we appear at your place with him. And then what? How will you explain to your parents that you've got an Australian boy in a room who's suffering from a snake bite? I don't know. What about when Dan comes to? What will we tell him? Oh, hi, Dan. We took you to Singapore for the day. Fun, huh? Look, I know all that. But if we don't do something soon, he's going to die. OK, but how will we get him to a hospital from your place? We don't. There's a doctor downstairs in my building. You do realise that this means the end of the chat room? For us, anyway. If it has to be, it has to be. We have no choice. Do we have a connection? I'm ready to go. OK, you grab his legs. And what if your parents are in your room when we suddenly appear? Then they're going to get a big surprise. All right, hold on tight. This could be bumpy. How is he? Still breathing. So now I have to go downstairs to the surgery and explain to the doctor why there's a boy in my room who's being bitten by an Australian snake. No sign of Dan yet? How many horses does he have with him? Three. But he knows they need to be shot. He'll be here soon. I'm heading inland this afternoon, Ali. If I don't get those horses done today, I won't be back for three weeks. Um, I'll give him a call, see if I can hurry him up. Happy to help. I'll be back by lunchtime. He has arrived. Well, his vital signs look good. It probably means that the snake only injected a small amount of poison. I gave him an anti venine just to be sure. Now, he needs to rest and not move from this bed for the next few hours. Understood? I will come back in half an hour. If he wakes up and tries to move, I want you to call me immediately, OK? Thank you, Doctor. Can you believe it? He's going to be OK. How did you explain it to the Doctor? I told him Dan was visiting from Australia and he stepped on a snake near the Botanic Gardens. Now I just have to pray my parents don't get home. Otherwise, I'm the one who's dead. Ali, it's me. We're in trouble. Dan got bitten by a snake, and we don't know where we are. When you get this, call me straight back, OK? Well, we didn't know what else to do. Calm down, Ali. Look, I think it's going to be OK. Doctor's been, and Dan's sleeping peacefully. No, he's not. He's waking up, and I don't know what to tell him. <laughs> Where am I? You're, uh, you're here. Ali's room? Ali's room. Good guess, Dan. You must 
dress down. The doctor said. He said it's important you stay lying down. With your eyes closed. What's that? What's what? Uh, buildings. Why can't I see buildings out the window? You know what, Dan? I bet if I pulled the shutters all the way open, you'd think you were seeing a whole metropolis out there. Is that what you see? Thought so. My grandma treated a lot of snake bites back home. The blue coral snake? You wouldn't believe some of the things people thought they saw. Mm. It's just a sign you need more rest. And your eyes need the most rest of all. Yeah. Let's put this over. It'll stop the light playing tricks on you. I know it's a bit uncomfortable, but it's for the best. Try not to move, OK? Yeah, OK. Where's Ali? She's just... She's just... seeing the doctor out. Can you get her? I want to apologise for giving her a hard time. He wants to see you. And we can't put him off much longer. You'll have to come to Singapore. Yeah, well, I'm not too sure about how happy the farrier will be about me, you know, ducking up to my room so I can slip through the computer to the other side of the world for an hour or two. It's actually a bit more complicated than that. What do you mean? Your laptop and three of your best horses are still in the bush where we left them. Where in the bush? I'm not quite sure, but there were lots of trees. Ali? Yes, uh, just finding out where the last horses are. I think they're in the back paddock, so I'm going to go get them. You better go back in there and get me some directions, Em. And they need to be good ones. So, Dan, just to fill in the last details on my assignment, where we went today? Does it have a name? I don't know if it's got an official name. We always called it Swanson Secret, because my grandfather found it. And how do you get there? For example, from Ellie's place? Why would your teacher need to know that? He's just really into detail. You ride five kilometres west of Henson's on the boundary track. At six ways, take the second left fork. Keep heading northeast to the top of Wilmot Ridge. Past that native bee nest. After three k's, you'll come to some massive boulders on your right. this to yourself. Oh, go on, you're gonna have to make it quick. Oh, why? Computer batteries, though. What? Uh, what am I supposed to do? What go. are you doing? Talk to him. What about the horses, the farrier? Oh, I'll take the horses, go! Just gave him something to help him sleep. Is he okay to be moved? He should be fine for short trips, but nothing too far, okay? Now, if anything changes, let me know. And not too many visitors, please. What are you doing? Uh, making sure Dan's not gonna land in the middle of my bedroom floor. Hi, Mum. Yeah, I'll be right down. My mum's in the car park. She needs to get the shopping. Happy travels. Bullseye. Ali? Hi. Hey. I feel like I've been hit by a train. Of all the people in the world who know how to avoid getting bitten by a snake. Yeah, I know. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy having a fight with you in my head. Who won? Not sure. You were begging for my forgiveness acting like such a psycho. Did you? Forgive me? Well, the snake got to me before. I decided whether to or not. I'm sorry for acting like such a psycho. I just felt like you were watching me all the time. Talk about self-centered. <laughs> and when someone's watching you, you have to be on your best behavior all the time. Unless you don't care what they think of you. Hmm. I guess I do. Care what you think of me. 
I am. Um, better go check on the horses. <laughs> you need some sleep. Oh, please tell me this is a good story. Well, all the horses have shiny new shoes. Is that a good enough story for you? Huh, talk about perfect timing. know you were coming today. Well, I had nothing to do at home, so I thought I'd give Ali a hand. Uh, how'd everything go? Uh, I think it's fair to say that everything went like clockwork. And where's Dan? Uh, it's a bit of a long story. Let's just say he's had a big day and he's sleeping it off. Yeah, I'm sure by morning it'll all seem like a dream. Saturday will be our three continents in a day. Day. We'll start off with a bit of horse riding in Australia. Just a little bit on very slow horses. And then shopping and lunch in Singapore. And then back to Germany for a boat ride on the after. Sorry guys, no can do. What? You'll have to go on your own. I can't make it. What's the problem? What else? Homework. Homework. I've got this history assignment. I've been putting it off and putting it off. And now it's due? Monday. Ali, I keep telling you not to put things off to the last minute. I know, I know. What is it about? Maybe we can help. The history of architecture. What? I've got to write an essay on the difference between Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque styles. Sorry, Ali, I'm a Mandarin on maths girl. Architecture's way off my radar. Don't worry, I just have to get on the internet. No, you don't. I know where you can do your research and we can have a great day together. There's this little town about half an hour from Hamburg. It's full of fantastic old buildings. Half a day here will be worth a week on the internet. Welcome to Lunaburg. Oh, if I could do all my assignments like this, I would never complain about school ever. Never? Well, except when eating is my dancing time. And speaking of eating, I'm starving. Didn't you eat before you came? I forgot. Ali! I didn't want to miss the train. Forget your bag too? Oh, look, at least I'm here. Here, you can put your stuff in my bag. Yep, you carry it. Very cunning. Now I need to carry my stuff and your stuff too. Come on, Ali. Time to start your homework. Josh that as often as you like. Oh no, what's the matter? It's closed till Monday. I'm sorry, I should have checked the website. Well, it's okay. 
This guidebook's got heaps of information. Everything I need. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. And look on the bright side. What bright side? Now I've got more time to eat lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Ali. Okay, Jackie, you might as well stay here with Ali and help her with her notes while I get something to eat. Okay, but don't be long. I think my stomach's forgotten what food looks like. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Sooner, if possible. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, check out these old buildings. Aren't they cool? They sure are. Gotta hand it to Emma. She really aced it with this trip. Ah, photos. Oh, <laughs> cool. OK, there'll be plenty of time to look at my amazing photos later. You still have to write all this up, remember? I will. After lunch. Ali. <laughs> That's a good one. Ali. What? Over there. Oh, looks a bit dangerous, hey? Come on. Careful there, little mate. That water looks pretty cold. Come on, let's find your mum. <laughs> um, I don't see anyone. My name's Jackie and this is Ali. What's your name? Are you lost? Is that what's wrong? Don't worry, we'll take care of you. How are we going to do that? We don't know where anything is in this town. We don't even know where we are. How are we going to find his parents? Let's just wait for Emma to get back. She won't be long. Don't worry, they're delicious. Definitely worth the wait. I'm not sure my friends can last that long. If you're in a hurry, there's another stand down the road in the next square. Is the food there any good? I wouldn't know, but there's another queue. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, where exactly is it? It's down the road, as far as you can go. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh, no! You're gonna catch me! <laughs> You've got me again! And your prize for winning is... You get to tell me what your name is? It's no good. He still won't say anything. I wonder what's keeping Emma. Are you still thinking about food? No, but thanks for reminding me. No, I meant that at least Emma would know where we should take him. I'm going to call her. <laughs> Hey, yeah. I can't take a call, which means I'm either dancing or sleeping. Leave a message. Cheers. Hi, Emma. It's us. We've got an emergency. Come back as soon as you get this. She's got her phone up. Just what we need. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? The kid. He's gone. What? There he is. Hey, stop. Hey, go. Hello? What can I do for you? Um, three sausages, please. Coming right up. Sauerkraut, mustard. I don't think so. They're for my friends, and they're not very used to German food. Not used to German food? They're kind of tourists from Australia and Singapore. And this is their first time in Lüneburg? Yep. Then we must give them something special. What? Uh, no, please. Uh... Nonsense. Visitors to our beautiful city. They must taste Lüneburg's best. Our world famous Matthias Philly. Look, really, it's okay. Young salted herrings with apple and gherkins with my special fries. Uh, no, no, please. I'm, I'm in a It hurry. won't take a minute and your friends will love it. Why is he running? Maybe he's scared. Wait! Wait. It's okay. We're your friends. <laughs> hey. Enough with that. We only want to help you. Hey, look, a police station. Jackie, do you really think that's a good idea? What do you mean? We're not even meant to be in Germany. We don't even have passports. Well, do you have a better idea? I wish I did. <sighs> hey! It's all right. The nice policemen are going to help find your parents. Hello? Excuse me. What's this? You've come to turn your little brother in, have you? What? Oh, no, he's not our brother. I see. No, we found him. Found him? Well, he's lost. At least we think he's lost. 
Is that what he told you? He hasn't told us anything. We asked, but he won't even tell us his name. So we thought we'd bring him here, do the right thing, leave it with you, and you can sort it out. So have a nice day. <laughs> but, oh. Not so fast, little ladies. We need you to answer some questions. What kind of questions? For a start, where did you find him? Where? Oh, down at the river. Which part of the river? Uh, the wet part. The wet part. Just step to the counter. Come on. Come on. We'll need you to make an official statement. A statement? What kind of statement? Just telling us what happened. Let's start with your names and addresses. Do you've got your passport or some identification on you? Excuse me. Police station Lunenburg, you're speaking to Officer Van Kau. Can I help you? Ali! Oh! Wait! Wait! Addresses. What were we supposed to say? If my parents find out I ran in from the police, well, I'll be toast. If your parents find out you're in Germany, you're toast. I know, but we we're only trying to do the right thing. We had no choice. We had to help. And look where it got us. We have to find Emma and get back to Hamburg. Sure. Any idea where? Oh, he turned so many corners. This is a disaster. Oh, it's okay. Stay calm. Look, Emma will be back with the food by now. She'll see that we've gone and turn on her phone. All we have to do is call her. Oh, no. What? Our phones, they're in my bag. We left it at the police station. We? You were supposed to be taking care of it. But it was your bag. You should have picked it up. Your friends were in such a hurry, they forgot their bag. It's no good. Last time. So, what have you got? Nothing with any ID. I wonder why they run like that. They didn't seem like locals. You think they're runaways? Maybe. They could just be tourists. But they did the right thing, bringing the boy to us. Isn't that right, young man? Now, what's your name? Let's try to find his parents. Then we better track down those girls. What do you think? Worth the wait? <laughs> Looks delicious. Once your friends taste this, they never want to leave Lüneburg. They haven't starved to death waiting for me. I'll get you changed. Oh, thanks, that's all right. Bye. If we don't have our phones, we can't get home. Well, we can't go back to the police station. They'll find out who we are. It's a disaster. We stop saying that? I know. We can make up fake names. Great. And what do we tell them when they ask us for identification? Oh, yeah, you're right. Our only chance is to find Emma. Maybe she can find a way out of this. But we don't know where she is. We don't know where we are. Only I hadn't given you my bag. Oh, so now this is all my fault? No, just mostly your fault. You're right. It was my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got angry at you. So how do we find Emma? We well, can only hope she's waited for us back at the river. If she's come looking for us, she could be anywhere. Well, we can't just stay here. We may as well try and backtrack to the river. And watch out for police. Yeah. This way. Okay. Sorry. Ali? Jackie? Come on out! If you're hiding, it's not funny. I'm serious. So, 
There have been no reports of a missing child. Headquarters have asked us to keep him here for now. This would be so much easier if you just told us your name. Police Station Lüneburg Officer Hansen speaking. Who is this, please? Sorry, remember? The police? Why have they got Ali's phone? Well, hang up. Interesting. Perhaps we're not the only ones looking for those girls. Look at these shops. Haven't we seen them before? I hate to say it, but I think you're right. I don't believe it. We're going around in circles. It's all those little back streets. They all look the same. It's like a maze. If I don't eat soon, I'm gonna have to turn myself into the police just to get some prison food. <sighs> ah, saved. Be right back. Wait, what are you going to pay with? I have... Australian money. Jackie, sorry, I didn't think to bring euros either. Ah, no problem. I'll just change it at the bank. spend all our money on these disguises. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be full than hungry. Come on, let's find Emma before the police find us. Interesting. Most of the contacts on the phone have international numbers. More evidence they could be tourists. Or on the run. Possibly. Let's see what their friends have to say. <laughs> Yeah, go away. We are close. Hello. Hello. This is Officer Wanke of Police Station 21 in Lüneburg. With whom am I speaking? Hey, you should know. You are the one who rang me. Yeah, you come back tomorrow when my shop is open now. What do you know? She hung up on me. Maybe I'll have more luck with the other phone. Diamond, can you get that? But, uh, Ma, I'm feeding my sick insects. Just see who it is. Fine, all right. Hello? Hello, my name is Officer Warnke from the police station 21 in Lüneburg. Luni what? Lüneburg, Germany. A policeman from Germany. That's correct, now... Who is this, really? This is Officer Warnke from okay, the... Okay, listen. Tell my sister she won't get me with her dumb practical jokes. This is not a joke. Sure it's not. Bye. Who's that, Damon? Some dopey maid of alleys. A policeman from Germany? How pathetic. She's not here. What are we gonna do? We don't know where she is or how to find her. Ali, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Well, what if we never find her and we're stuck here for good? Maybe we just need to think about this in a different way. Like? Like, what would we do if we were in Emma's place? You mean apart from letting us starve to death? Ali! I don't know. Go back to the station? Exactly. That's right, the two girls who arrived with the boy. Don't worry, we're circulating a description. Yes, I'm sure we'll find them, they won't get away. Yes, can I help you? Um, nope, nothing wrong, false alarm. Keep up the good work. What is it with young girls these days? They were here all right, but now where would they go? Worth a try. Any sign of her? None. All right, you wait here and I'm going to go check inside the station. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back out. 
too. You weren't actually going to take that, were you? Uh, no. But I was tempted. Come on, let's take a look around somewhere away from the food. Please be here. You've got to be here. Yes. Turn around. Holly, Jackie. She has to come back here. It's the obvious place to go. Well, well. Just the girls I hope to find. Huh? We'd like a word with you back at the station. Ah, look who's here. Our young runaways. So let's start with why you ran away. What is it exactly you're afraid of? Uh, well, we're on holiday. In Hamburg, uh, our German friend brought us to Lüneburg just for the day, but our parents think we're somewhere else. Hmm. I see. Oh, we were going to go back to Hamburg, though. There's a return ticket in my bag. Oh, we'd be back there by now if we hadn't found that lost boy. <sighs> um, I think you're looking for me, too. Emma. We looked everywhere. We thought we'd lost you. See, this is the friend we were telling you about. Dad was so worried about you. Please, don't ever run away again. Uh, um, I think you'd like to meet the girls who found your son and brought him here. Oh, thank you so much. We don't know what to say. It's okay, really. We just did what anyone would do. Is it all right if we go home now? Where exactly is your home? They're staying with me. At my address, they're friends from overseas. Straight home. Do you really mean that? We're sorry for any trouble we caused. Very sorry. Wait! Don't forget your bag this time. Thanks. Thank you for helping this boy. Any time. Bye. Well, Emma, you really know how to make an entrance. Yeah, next time could you not leave it till the last minute? <laughs> Wait, girls, please. Thank you again. Is there any way we can repay you? Don't worry about it, it's fine. Oh, wait, that badge on your jacket. Do you work at the architecture museum? Yes, yes, I'm the curator, why? Well, maybe there is something you can do. Uh, make that two things. That was great. And I think Ali has everything that she needs for her assignment. Absolutely. So, what was your favorite part of the tour? Oh, without a doubt. No questions asked. Definitely when you made us lunch in the staff kitchen. Only really joking, <laughs> but it was nice. <laughs> Come on, we've got to hurry or we'll miss our train. Thanks again. <laughs> Bye. 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 See you. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Emma. I never knew homework could be that exciting. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. We got lost, caught by the police, and poor Ali nearly starved to death. Yeah, but it was more fun than spending a day on the internet. I suppose so. You suppose so? Admit it. You loved it. OK, it was kind of fun. I wonder if we could find a way to make maths more exciting. Yes, I wonder. No, do not even think about it. I am happy with maths exactly the way it is. <laughs> Come on, you two. We've got a train to catch. <laughs>
Okay. I'm there. Jackie? What do you think? Whoa. It's very... Um... Pink? <laughs> Is that what you're wearing to the photo shoot tomorrow? Excuse me? If you're looking for a good tailor, I recommend the one three dots down. He made our team costumes. You had yours specially made? Naturally. Just for the publicity shoot? The front cover of Dancing magazine is a big deal, Henson. Just in case you didn't know. I've got to rush. I'm late for a fitting. Can't wait to see what you three show up in tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with our old costumes. Except that we've worn them a thousand times. Who cares? I, I do. do. We didn't before we ran into Chelsea. Well, this magazine thing is obviously a lot bigger than we thought it was. Well, then let's wear our semi-final costumes. No way! Why not? Michelle would kill us. We're saving them for the competition. Then how are we going to come up with new gear by tomorrow? If Chelsea can do it, then so can we. Except we don't have Chelsea's budget. Then we'll just have to be more creative. What do we think of these? No offence, Jack, but they suck. No, no, don't hold back. Tell me what you really think. Maybe if we sewed on some sparkly things. Sparkly things? Come on, guys. OK, what then? Yeah, what then? Well, how should I know? What we need is some inspiration. Well, we're not going to find out if we stay here. Well, we can try a little India in Chinatown once the rain stops. Or we've got the chat room, remember? Why hang around here when we could go somewhere else? Where do we want to go? When you feel the beat, there's no retreat. Wow. This is awesome. The bridge is amazing. You know they call it the coat hanger. <laughs> I get it. What do they call the opera house? The Opera House. I see lots of cafes, but no clothing shops. Give me time. How much further is it to go? Oh, would you do too? We'll just enjoy the view. We'll be there soon. You are down the road, start to unknown. <laughs> Sometimes there's things you can't explain You have to find another frame To show the world it's your domain You've got to stay Koalas? I love koalas, but no. OK, then, let's go to Hamburg. The shops should be open by now. Or we could go to the beach and check out the surf shops. What do you want to do, Jack? It's the Changs. Who? My neighbours from Singapore. What? We have to get out of here. Jackie! Jackie! They're calling you. Don't look back. Quick, hide me. See, um, Madame Lee's daughter. Over there, look. Show you to us, her. Why are you always questioning me, huh? Oh, man, that was close. We're in big trouble. Relax, Em. We got away before she could get a good look at us. She called your name? Trust me, she won't even give it a second thought. Perfect. 
Hi, Ma. What's up? I just had the strangest phone call from the Changs. The Changs? The people who live downstairs? Yeah. They're in Australia for a holiday, and Mrs. Chang said she just saw you in Sydney. <laughs> in Sydney? That's crazy. That's what I said. Anyway, that's not why I called. I need you here in the shop in half an hour. I need to go out and get some groceries because Dad's having a colleague over for dinner, and Grandma needs help. Sure, Ma. No problem. I'll come straight over. All right. See you soon, darling. See you. You'll come straight over? Does this ferry go any faster? to get from your apartment to your grandma's shop. OK, I think I can just make it. Wait, what about tomorrow? We still don't have anything to wear. Don't worry. We'll work on it while you go to Singapore. We'll call you later, OK? OK, thanks, guys. See you. OK, costumes. Four, eight, three, four. What? Four. Eight, three, four. No, this can't be happening. Okay, what about this? A Halloween costume, perfect. Hmm, really? No. Okay, I am officially out of ideas. I say we try hammock then. The shop should be open by now. What are you doing back? I only got as far as the chat room. For some reason, I couldn't get to Singapore. Maybe you made a mistake with your code. I tried it twice, the second time slowly. All right, then this time, we'll come with you. So far, so good. Now my code in reverse. Four, eight, three, four. Weird. This has never happened before. What are we going to do? I have to get home. I'll try Havoc. See, the same thing happens. Do you think you should? What if... We don't have a choice. We have to find out. Hey, Studo. <laughs> Why doesn't she call? It's only been like five seconds. I got home, no problems. So why couldn't Jackie get through to Singapore? Maybe there's something wrong with your computer. I'll check with Josh. Hi, sis. I just tried to access my computer. What's going on? I switched it off. I had to switch off all our computers until the thunderstorm's over. Thunderstorm? Where are you? On Mars? Where am I? I'm, uh, at the mall, shopping. Hear that? It's wild. I started to go to soccer train, had to turn back. Well, how long do you think it'll take to pass over? I can see a patch of blue sky. Maybe half an hour? That long? Come on, you can feel in half an hour. You're in the mall. Do me a favor. As soon as the storm's over, switch my computer back on. What's the big deal? Please, just do it. OK, whatever. I'm going to have to tell Mum I can't make it. What are you going to say? I don't know. Jackie, you're late. Where are you? Out shopping. I can't move because of the storm. All right. Change your plans, then. I'll stay here with Grandma. OK. And while you're out shopping, you can pick up a few things for me at the supermarket. Write this down, please. Uh, wait. Let me grab a pen and paper. OK, shoot. Uh, kway teow. Kway teow. Bean sprout. Bean sprouts. Chai sim. Chai sim. Prawns and a squid. Prawns and squid. That's for the char kway teow. OK, got it. I'm not finished yet, Jackie. All right, what's the rest? Uh, chai po. Chai po. Salted radish. Salted radish. Red chili paste. Red chili paste. And that's for the fried carrot cake. Anything else? Yes, uh, and two mud crabs for the chili crab. Two mud crabs. Do the shopping, drop it home and meet me at the shop, all right? OK, Mom. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. How am I going to get all this stuff when I can't get home? But we can. Yeah, she's right. There's nothing stopping us from doing the shopping. And Dad has some of this stuff in the pantry. I've seen it. OK, but what about the rest? I know where Dad goes shopping. If you come with me, you can show me what to buy. And I can get the seafood. There's this great fish shop like 10 minutes away from our house. But what will we pay for it with? I only have Singapore dollars. 
we're going to have to use the money we were going to spend on the costumes, which will leave us with exactly nothing. Okay, let's not worry about that right now. Right now, we better get shopping. Hey, what you gonna do? 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 This one. Sonic? Salted radish. Dried chili paste. What's your mom making? Fried carrot cake. How'd you make carrot cake with radish? They're alive? At least you know they're fresh. Uh, how am I going to get them home? Call them a taxi. What? Don't worry, I'll take care of them for you. What are you looking at? What? It's not my fault I don't know anything about fish. What you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, yeah. That's all, we've got the rest at home. Great, let's get out of here. Oh no, we're going to be here forever. It's Josh, tell me the storm's over. Yeah, it's over. Your computer's up and running, and I'm going to soccer. See you tonight. We're good to go. It's Mum. Hi, Mum. Jackie, have you finished the shopping? Yeah, it's all done. I've got everything. Good. So where are you? Um, I'm on my way home. Hurry, Jackie. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm coming. Mum's waiting for me and we're going to be stuck in this queue for ages. Okay, this is what we're going to do. You go back to my place, you know the spec here is? And then go straight to your grandma's shop and leave Ali and me to get the shopping back to Singapore. Thanks, Sam. I don't know how to... Just go! go. I've got the seafood. Great. Take them straight to my apartment. I have to go to grandma's. Mum's looking for me. Where's Emma? Show that you This one really left me stranded. Have you got all the shopping done? Hold on. Good girl. Now you go behind, help me to unpack the boxes. Be careful, don't drop it. Nowadays, you're always hurrying. Don't worry, Grandma. I'm ready to take it nice and slow. Made it. I can't believe this is actually going to work. Rosa, the housekeeper. Oh, I forgot she was working today. What do we do now? Where's Mum? Oh, she went home. When? Well, 15 minutes ago. Why? She got a lot to do. What's wrong? Um, I was thinking that maybe I should go home too. No, you need to help me here. Anyway, she got Rosa to help her. Rosa, what about Rosa? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. I just had a mental blank. You know how it is. Okay, you go behind and unpack the boxes. I'll attend to the customer. Where are you? We're trapped in your room. Rosa's cleaning the apartment. Sorry, she wasn't there when I got home. She must have been doing the laundry. It's okay, Jackie. We'll just have to wait till she's gone. You can't wait. Mum's on her way home. Your mum? What? <sighs> Mrs. Lee's coming home. Man. Somehow, you have to put the food into the kitchen without being seen. Oh. Should 
do with these? How should I know? Crazy. going or we're going to be in trouble big time. Tell me everything went according to plan. Well, your mum came home. But we managed to get the food into the kitchen and get out before anyone saw us. So it's all good. You're safe. Thank you. Thank you both so much. I was sure our luck was going to run out today. Now maybe I can relax. Sorry, I have to go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Crabs are so fresh. Especially if they came from Hamburg. What are you talking about? This. Your shopping bag. Oh, that. Oh, that's, uh, that, that's Emma's. Emma who went back to Germany? Yeah. She left it here ages ago, so I used it to do the shopping. Oh, OK. Uh, Jackie. Huh? Here. Money for the food. Oh, right. Thank you. Sorry, Jackie, we were in such a hurry to get out of there. Don't worry, I covered it. And now I have the money to pay you back. So how was the dinner? Great, but we ran around so much today, all I want to do is sleep. <laughs> Me too. Not yet, guys. We've still got the photo shoot tomorrow, remember? And we still haven't decided what we're going to do about our costumes. We can try Little India and Chinatown first thing in the morning. What's the point? We'll never be able to compete with Chelsea anyway. True. We shouldn't even try. Forget about Chelsea. Let's just be ourselves. Oh, yes! That's it. More expression. Look into the camera. Oh, yes! Okay, that's it. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Good. 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 Together and put together. And oh, yes! Yeah. yeah. Nice big oh, smiles. Yeah. Excellent. It is. <laughs> How to tell on all that makeup? What are they supposed to be? I'm not too sure, but somebody should tell them less is more. Okay, can you change position, girls? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, what are you doing? Sophie, get off my dress. Sorry, sorry. Hey, come back here. Oh, looks like it's your turn. Me? But we haven't finished yet. I don't understand why the high amateurs I came to do these things. 
It's seriously pathetic. Chelsea have already made the centre pages. <laughs> or the colour left out. Mm, not quite. Unfortunately, our Chelsea only just made it into the corner. She is going to freak when she sees this. She'll probably get a dad to sue the magazine. <laughs> so, where to now? Um. Uh... Alright, so the chaos, last one there, bye. Wait, 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 wait. I saw just now. Daddy? With the other two girls. Right here. All three of them. I tell you, you must go and get your eye checked. <laughs>